Hi, beautiful friends. Welcome to my Minimalist Monday video series. This video was originally recorded live on Facebook, so you'll have to excuse the little black bars on the side because I didn't figure out until a few weeks in how to turn my camera, but I'm going to be doing a KonMari of my entire house, and that means a huge declutter. I hope you'll come along for the ride. Let's get started. Hey, friends. Welcome back to Minimalist Monday. It's Laura. Got my hair back today. I got my yoga pants on today. I am on the floor. I want to talk to you about papers because that's next on um, Marie Kondo's checklist is papers. But there is some things that you should do before you actually get to the papers to be ready for, to do the papers. Because the papers, in my opinion, is like crazy category. So um, I probably could spend about two hours on papers and you probably could too, given what's in the average household. But I wanted to teach you guys some prep tips on getting ready for your papers that will make doing the papers much more manageable. And each person's gonna be a little different here, but I'm gonna share with you my number one tool that you have to have, like every mother needs this anyway. And then I'll show you a couple other tools that I use when I'm organizing paperwork and things like that. I'm gonna do my prep is with my filing cabinet. So I have a small filing cabinet, complete with child lock, see? <laughs> child locks. So the top two drawers are what I would consider a junk drawer. So here's the first one. Holy smokes, man, junk drawer. And my whole idea is that I'm going to consolidate the two top drawers with this bottom drawer, which is also like everything's full of stuff pretty much. Um, because I used to have a large two tier filing cabinet that I don't have anymore. I now have all my papers in a plastic bucket, which I'll show you as well. But I'm my goal for me to have my paperwork is to have it all in this just this bottom drawer because I'm going to go electronic and digital with so many of my things. So basically today is about prepping to, to be able to do the paperwork and I'm going to show you exactly how I set up my filing system and what I'm doing differently for digitizing and getting things more virtual in the cloud. Okay, so first of all, let me show you the number one tool you need. And actually, I've had mine for years, a label maker. Oh yes, this is my favorite toy. I love my label maker. And the reason is, I don't care how good your handwriting is, it's sometimes illegible for some people. And this is just way easier to read. When you're setting up anything, and I label everything, I label everything, but when you're setting up anything, especially like files, um, you need to be able to be reading where you're putting things. And the whole goal of your filing system with your paper is that anybody should be able to go into your filing system and find a paper. And so when you're thinking about setting up your files, you're gonna set them up in a way that's kind of intuitive, where you can either tell someone where to go find something, or you'll be able to have them just just intuitively know where to find them. What I use for my files, the paper files, is hanging file folders, but these are the ones that are the plastic ones so they don't get all yucky. And they have a tab for the label, but I have a whole series of those. I used to have a lot more, but I've gone so digital with most things. When you're setting up your filing system, here's a trick. Your eyes only read like right, left, right, left, right, left. So if you're setting up your tabs to go all the way across your files, your eyes won't be able to track that. So when you're setting up your files, you're gonna set up the files, maybe you can see this, where it's just in and one, and then it goes back and starts with in and then one again. So you're just gonna go back and forth. So one, two, one, two, okay? So you don't take the tabs all the way across the page. Your eyes will not be able to focus that long on those. So I have the plastic type of folders. The other thing I have for tools is this type of folder. This is also a plastic folder. It's just got like a manila plastic folder. And this is great for ongoing projects or paperwork that you, you're handling. So if I'm, you know, for example, going on a trip, I'll put all the trip related papers right inside this folder and it's so easy to have at a fingertip and that's a great resource. The other thing that I just found which I'm really excited to use is these. These are from the container store. So they are the same type of thing only they're zippers and they're pretty heavy duty. This is uh, like a mesh plastic and I am probably going to be storing some like archival things in there like for example my taxes um, and things like that. So these are another source of just I'm giving you some different ideas that you you can use for files and then within each folder that you have you're gonna have subfolders as well so I'll share with you more about that next week when I actually do the papers but this is just kind of giving you an idea of what you would need to set up the last thing for tools is something to scan I love this doxy 
scanner. This is a DoxyQ scanner. And this one, it op it's portable, but it opens up to be a full page like feed and then you save your files to an SD card and you can download them on your computer. Very easy to scan with that. I love it and when I'm talking about next week, basically next week I'll be sorting my papers into what I'm going to scan because I don't need the physical copy anymore but I still need the information and what I'm going to actually physically file which remember the goal is to have it all fit in the bottom shelf so that I only have one small filing cabinet. You should be able to also fit all of your stuff into a, a small space, like a portable small space as well. Okay, so let's get started with decluttering and putting three drawers into one. And this is my equivalent of a junk drawer, just because I don't have a junk drawer otherwise. This is it. So I'm going to go through what's in here and I'll show you guys some of the things that I have that are organizing, helping me organize in here. I have my trusty trash bag or trash bin right next to me here. So because there's inevitably going to be some trash, but let's just start to go through things. And just like anything else you're doing, this is a little bit different from like other um, KonMari categories because this is not grouping like item. I guess you could put these into the category of office supplies. So I guess it's kind of categorized, but I'm more doing this as a whole space rather than as a category. So the first thing I like to do is literally empty everything out. Now, as I'm emptying things out, I can immediately see some things that I don't need. This has got my information on it, so I will shred it. I have a pile over here for shred. If you find any items that are, are actionable, item, actionable items, like something you want to act on, those can go in a different pile. And then we're going to really sort through the rest and find out what's really necessary. Like, do I need five highlighters that I can currently see? Probably not. And with pens and pencils and things like that, you might even have a scratch sheet of paper you can like test them to see if they're even working. This is actually a great idea, a great example of an actionable item. This, these are my three Kenyan children that I sponsor through Compassion International. And I want to update their pictures in my picture frame. I have like a triple picture frame of them. So these are their latest pictures that I was sent. And so that's an actionable item. I'm going to keep it out of this drawer. I'm going to put it over here separately. <laughs> Oh look, these are like one of my favorite pairs of scissors. I got these from Creative Memories like forever ago. I love these. I, I had no idea these were in here. Okay, that's exciting. I love going through junk drawers because then you find things. So do you see this common theme here? A lot of the stuff that I'm finding doesn't belong in this junk drawer. Yes, this is kind of like what we did, remember in the bookshelf where there's a bunch of stuff that didn't belong there. So I'm gonna, I should have had a basket here, but I don't have one within arm's reach. But I'm gonna just kind of put all this stuff aside because it doesn't belong where I'm doing right now and I'm gonna go put it away later. <music> what's in here. This is a great little container that I put in here. Anytime you have a drawer, you want to try to find some sort of drawer organizer type thing. This one just happened to fit perfectly inside this drawer and I have one in either. So now I'm going to kind of put things back where they go. This is now the drawer after. Okay, so you can see huge amount of space here and I did it on purpose. I'm doing the top drawer first and then the next drawer down so that it basically adds up and works onto one another. So here's the next drawer down. All right, so now we're down to the bottom of the second drawer. So a couple things I know I wanna have them go back. My post-it notes. Now I'm starting to look at the third drawer over here on the side and I've gotta incorporate this into the top two. So I'm kind of going through the things at the same time here. trip that I went on with 31 and actually my mom and I are on this video so that's super fun I'm gonna put with um, my keepsakes because I do want to hold on to that <music> scuba diving chart okay last time I went scuba diving I was still married so that should tell you something and I don't foresee going scuba diving anytime in the future <laughs> so we're gonna throw that away and a pregnancy wheel oh my goodness I don't plan on being pregnant anymore either all right so there's that. So you can see that now I've actually been able to consolidate all of my stuff from those three drawers up into two drawers. Just show you here, this is the second drawer. And the only thing I really have left to do here, part of it, was to go through my pens 
And I'm gonna see if they all work and I'll put those back in, the ones that work. And then I'll put my cards back in my card wallet. And go, I'll go through these real quickly and see if there's anything I don't need, I'll just trash. These are like business cards for people that are services I use and stuff like that. So I'll put that back in there. And then the rest of the stuff is just things that belong somewhere else. So now you can see that I'm, I'm good to go. I got an empty file cabinet here so that next week when I actually do my papers, then I will be able to put them right in here and I won't have to worry about cleaning that out so I wanted to do a little bit of prep work this week because papers is a crazy category so feel free to join me next week on minimalist Monday for all the papers because I will actually get to uh, filing the papers and showing you how I set up my filing system for next week so this week get your supplies ready if you need to prep a space prep a space if you don't have a filing cabinet you want something easy just grab a clear bucket a clear plastic bin which is what i currently have a lot of my files in i'll show you what i mean i get them at staples i use these for everything so here's what i have my stuff in right now at least some of it i've got two of these and i'm going to consolidate them down into this one drawer so that's next week until then share this video like it comment if you're just joining for the first time uh, comment below so i can come give you some virtual love feel free to share this video with anybody you know that needs a little bit more organization in their life hope you guys have a fabulous week and i will see you for our next minimalist monday oh there's a spider on the wall it's the tiny baby slider.